I'm headed to my first class of the day and yes, I am super late, but I want to show you guys like this other part of UF because I think this is like another main area. At least that's what I think. So yeah, I just want to show it to you guys because you know, I'm new to UF, new UF vlog, that's what it's about. <laughs> Good morning guys from a really, really, really cold Gainesville. It is literally 48 degrees and I am freezing my ass off. Guys, today is the day that I finally got motivated and I said, you know what Danny, let me just pick the camera up and start vlogging again. Yeah! Do you want to be in the vlog? Sure. What's up? Bro? What's up? What's your name? I'm Kevin. Kevin, you are the first person from UF that I get in my vlog. Nice. What do you want to say to the vlog? Anything you want, just anything. I don't know what to say. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say, but Kevin, I appreciate you. All right. This past weekend, I was in Miami, and obviously I went to Wharf, because you guys know me, I love Wharf. People were asking me left and right, Danny, why aren't you vlogging in UF? Like, what's wrong with the vlog? Do you want to keep doing YouTube? I know I said it in one of my last videos, but guys, the transition of me moving from Miami, being a UM student, now being a UF student, moving to Gainesville has been like really, really big. Guys, like I'm not trying to be too deep, but literally like as soon as I moved to Gainesville, like I literally had like no idea who I was, where I was, like it's a whole different world. I was so comfortable being a UM student, living at home, going to UM, knowing like literally everybody, and now here in Gainesville, like I'm literally starting from zero. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like really cold to the point where like you could see your breath. <sighs> I don't know, I find that cool. But yeah, the whole transition has just been really big. It's taken like a huge like mental hit to me. And like, I don't know, I just wasn't finding the motivation to just like do vlogs because I, don't, I just, I don't know, I don't know. I was just going through a lot, all right? But I'm done getting deep with you guys. I'm about to hit the gym, get in a workout and get the day started right. Usually in Florida, as the day progresses, it gets hotter, but from the moment that I started my workout and that I finished it, it's literally gotten two degrees colder. There are a bunch of things about living in Gainesville that I'm still getting used to. The cold weather is definitely top three on that list. Something else that really just like amazes me about Gainesville is that the speed limit is 20, but people here actually follow the speed limit. If you're from Miami, you know that nobody follows the speed limit. If it says 25, you hit 40. If it says 40, you hit 60. If it says 60, you hit 80. But look at this, the guy in front of me has literally got me going less than 20 miles an hour. I had my breakfast, I just left the house, about to get my day here at UF started. I live in this area called Midtown, which supposedly is like a really big hotspot in Gainesville. I mean, right now it's noon on a Monday, but all these like little college bars, right? Like if it's Thursday night, Friday night, like they just got really, really packed and super rowdy. Sometimes it sucks because I'm trying to go to bed and it just gets like super loud. But the thing that's really convenient about living in Midtown is that I legit live like a one minute walk to campus. I've never lived so close to campus. Like even at UM, like I'd have to drive like 10 minutes from my house if I want to get to campus. So there are like a lot of benefits to like living really, really close, especially walking distance. Biggest thing about campus at UF is that straight up, like it's just huge. I've been here for like, what, four months and I still don't know how to get around campus. Every time that I have to like go somewhere, I've taken a different route because I still haven't established like what's the fastest way to get places. Right now I am walking to the bookstore and I am walking through like this area of campus. I legit have no idea what it's called, but for some reason they have this like bounce house. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but yeah, that's my current UF situation. Honestly, this bookstore is like really, really big. It's a lot bigger than the one at UM and they even have accessories for your dog if you have a dog they also have this 450 dollar chair which might be the most expensive chair in all of gainesville i am leaving the Wrights building and like this area of campus and now it is time to go to the library and grind so back at um the library that i would always go to which literally became my second home was richter here at uf in gainesville it's this place right here 
Marston. I have no idea who Marston is, who he was, but point is, I just go to his library like 24 seven. Something about this library, or just like any library here at UF in general, is that it always gets like super, super packed. And I think it just has to do because like, when you think about it, there's literally like 30,000 or 40,000 students here. Like you put them on like one or two spots, like it's just bound to get packed. Like it's so hard to find a seat here. So let's see if I could find a seat. I was able to find this whole like desk area, which I have all to myself. But for the next like two or three hours, I will be focusing on chemistry. Guys, legit, chemistry is a class that is ruining my life. I've never done a class that is so hard, so terrible, but uh, yeah, I gotta get through it somehow. Arada, this is a historical moment. <laughs> you are the first person from our cohort to be in the vlog. Hello, what, everyone. What do you want to say? Just anything. Welcome to Gainesville. Welcome to Gainesville. Arad, tell them like a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? Like, how old are you? Just like a little introduction. My name's Arad. I'm 25 years old. 25, okay. I'm a post back student here with Danny. That's right. And I like to do martial arts. Arad, so what are we going to do right now? We're about to hit the dining hall. How much do you love the dining hall? 11 out of 10. So why do you like the dining hall? Well, as you can see here, we've got Michelin quality food. We've got tater tots and fried chicken. Not a whole lot more you can ask for. Guys, honestly, the reason that we come to the dining hall is just because we hate cooking. That's, that's honestly it. I'm headed to my first class of the day, and yes, I am super late, but I want to show you guys like this other part of UF because I think this is like another main area at least that's what I think so yeah I just want to show it to you guys because you know I'm new to UF new UF vlog that's what it's about even though I'm still learning campus I do know for a fact that like one of the main libraries is like all the way over there and then like here you can't really see it from this view you have like this like really big like clock tower I have no idea what it's called but I know it's like really popular and then this building right here Turling Tin Hall that is where I have a bunch of my classes and where I have bio like right now. And yeah, I'm really late for this class. The professor might hate me, but like, you know, I gotta do it for the vlog. So guys, I am on my way to my last class, which is my bio lab. I am here with somebody else from my cohort, Fiona. What's up? Fiona, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. What do you want to say? Anything special? Anything about yourself? Introduce yourself. Um, Come on. I'm the designated horse girl of the group. Crazy That's horse me. girl. I'm a crazy, crazy horse, horse girl. girl. Um, she rides horses and like owns like a couple. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm starting to be a vet. That's okay. the goal. That's okay. the goal. Um, let's see what else? Camera slow on. You got to keep going. Um, I don't know what else to say. Wait, do we have to talk about? Welcome. Now we're going into our bio lab. Come this way. This building is incredibly old, super old. Many genius minds roam these empty halls. It's our first day dissecting anything in bio lab. So that'll be interesting. We got our kits, we got our scalpels at the ready. Ready to get in there, get dirty. Practice, practice surgery on the rest. All right, anything else you want to say before I like switch it to a rod? Um, nope. That's it. Arad, I wasn't going to switch it to you, but like now I have to. So Arad, what do you think? Um, we just entered the biology lab. You know, it's a pretty eerie place, I would say. Hopefully we don't go to 10 p.m. today. At least you're not recording me. Yeah, hopefully we don't go to 10 p.m. You have me like hanging here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Eduardo, what's up, bro? How's it going? Yo, what's up? So it's guys. Going. Eduardo is a freshman at UF and you guys know how like at UM like when I was a freshman like a sophomore junior like I was giving advice to everybody but here at UF like I feel like a freshman I'm brand new so Eduardo what advice do you have to give to freshmen that want to go to UF or that like are new to UF? The biggest advice I'd say like to freshmen at UF is that the school is really really big and it it's, is. it's really it's easy huge. at least personally to get lost in kind of like what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. I think just it's important to focus on yourself, focus on your schoolwork, your extracurriculars, you know, your friends and you know you do you. 
because essentially that's what we do in life, right? We do ourselves. So just you do you as a freshman, focus here at UF, and right. you're gonna make it through. So Eduardo, you should like yeah. start your own YouTube channel, like at UF, and like give <laughs> UF advice because that, that was amazing, man. You killed Thanks, it, man. all right, bro? Thanks, man. But yeah, I finally did it. I had like the bravery. I got out of my comfort zone to finally do a day in the life at UF. At UM, it was like super easy for me just to like do vlogs out of like nowhere, just because I like knew my surroundings really well, like really, really well. But I like know nothing about UF and Gainesville. So like, I don't know if you guys have any ideas about like what I should film at UF or just like in the Gainesville area, like just let me know. But if you enjoyed this first out of the many UF vlogs that I'm gonna be doing, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to stay up to date with my weekly uploads. That is it for me, but always remember to stay hydrated.